This high-level dialogue is held in Ghana. In addition to thanking our host for their warm welcome, I think uh, we should acknowledge the unwavering and exemplary commitment of Ghana to health education and gender equality. Thank you. I wanted to be here with you today for this official launch of the Our Rights, Our Lives, Our Future program, a program which is at the heart of UNESCO's commitment to girls and young women and to Africa. And for us, these are more than just words, uh, because as you may know, our two transversal priority at UNESCO are gender equality and Africa. We are here today because we know that Africa's youth are its future and most precious resource. That is why Agenda 2063 for the Africa we want places youth at the center of regional and national development efforts and recognizes that development must make the most of a growing population. Sub-Saharan Africa is currently home to 158 million young people between the ages of 15 and 24 and that number is expected to nearly double, to rise to 281 million by 2050. This demographic dividend represents tremendous potential, but risks being derailed if we do not address barriers to young people's health and education. These risks include early and unintended pregnancy, child marriage, gender-based violence, and HIV. This issue must be addressed, and the solution can only be found internally through the concerted efforts of public officials and the communities who are themselves impacted. And as it's been said, despite significant progress in recent years, Sub-Saharan Africa remains the region most affected by those risks, and especially by uh, HIV epidemic. Committed to addressing this issue, over 20 years ago, UNESCO participated in the founding of UNAIDS, the United Nations uh, Joint Program on HIV and AIDS, and continues to play a leadership uh, role within it. Early and unintended pregnancy and gender-based violence pose serious barriers to young people's health and right to education. Today, pregnancy and childbirth complications are the leading cause of death among 15 to 19 years old worldwide. And beyond the physical risks, for many young women, early and unintended pregnancy also leads to emotional trauma, early marriage, social stigma, and very often the end of their educational opportunities. A UNESCO study showed that in Eastern and Southern Africa, of all the young women who drop out of school due to pregnancy, less than 5% go on to complete their education. And in contrast, we know that every additional year of school a girl completes is tied to a redu reduced risk of HIV, decreased rate of infant mortality, and improved economic perspectives.